The crop tool has the most options, but there are four other methods. Shift plus C is the shortcut to the crop tool. Left click and drag to draw a box. The darker area is what will be removed. It's possible to resize the selection in multiple ways. Left click and hold to move it. Left clicking inside the selection will complete the crop. The fixed aspect ratio setting is the most important in the crop menu. It makes it easy to do things like turn a 4x3 photograph into a 16x9 computer background. Next to that are buttons to set the ratio as portrait or landscape. The position and size of the crop selection can be manually entered. Position uses XY coordinates where the start 0, 0 is in the top left corner. Different units of measure can be selected. Size shows what's been selected and allows a size to be accurately chosen. This can be helpful when making prints. You don't want to be off by a small amount and then have to resize the image. The selected layers only option will do exactly what you think it does. Enabling the option will only crop the selected layers. Delete crop pixels will delete the pixel data. Normally the crop part of the image is recoverable. Allow growing lets the crop tool expand the size of the canvas. If part of the image was cropped, this can be used to bring it back. Otherwise, there are options on how to fill the added canvas. Expand from center will cause the selection to grow from the center. Normally, the opposite side from the selection will stay in place. If fixed aspect ratio is selected, the top and bottom will move. The highlight option will change the opacity of the selection that will be cropped. I think this makes it easier to visualize what the crop selection will look like. When cropping, there are five composition guides that can be overlaid. Auto Shrink will select the boundary of whatever is in the layer. For this to work, there will have to be transparent sections of the layer. If the layer was a solid color, the Auto Shrink would select the entire image, effectively doing nothing. Shrink Merge will use all visible layers to shrink the selection. Another way to do this is to go to the Layer menu, and then select Crop to Content. If you want to do the reverse, go back to the Layer menu and select Layers to Image Size instead. To use Crop to Selection, first you'll need to select part of an image. The easiest way to do this is with the Rectangle Select tool. The shortcut is R. Left click and drag to make a selection. It can be moved and resized. When you are happy, go to Image, Crop to Selection. Crop to Content removes borders, which are determined by an outer solid color or transparency. The crop is applied to all of the image layers. Zealous Crop uses a solid color as a guide for what to crop. It is different from Crop to Content as it will also crop the middle of an image. Go to Image, Canvas Size. This menu allows you to change the size of an image. If you set the image dimensions to be smaller, the image can be dragged around in the preview to select the area to be cropped. If you want to learn more GIMP skills, check out my other videos on GIMP, especially on removing backgrounds and resizing images. Thank you for watching and please subscribe if you haven't.